Hey guys, uh, good morning. I just got back from the gym, um, the real life gym, not the pokey gym. And I should have some eggs hatching at the moment, but my app keeps crashing. So I have a feeling that they've just hatched without playing the animation. So I'm going to go into the menu and let's see what we got. I should have had two 10Ks and two 5Ks that could have been uh, Gen 2 stuff. So let's have a look. Oh <laughs> boy. Yes. Double Lavatar. That's awesome. 56 candies. That's crazy. I wish that didn't crash because that would have added to my decks as well. That's sweet. And a Ponyta and a Paris. A little less interesting. Um, awesome. So we've got Lavatar now in our decks as well. So throughout this week, I'm going to be taking my camera to work so I can actually um, record what I play when I'm at work because I do play it my, on my lunch breaks um, and then that way I won't miss out on showing you guys any new things that we add to the decks um, and I don't have to wait just to the weekend to film you know a big episode or anything like that so I'll take you along with me through this week and show you what we get. Good morning guys, it is Thursday, um, I just recorded hatching a whole bunch of eggs but apparently my screen recorder was not recording. Um, so here is the nine Pokemon that I hatched, uh, Scyther, Eevee, Staryu, Dratini, Gligar, Rhyhorn, Sandshrew, Tentacool and Psyduck. Um, not really that much interesting anyway in the way of egg hatches. The Dratini I'm pretty happy with because um, I'm trying to save up again for another Dragonair, uh, sorry Dragonite and uh, Gligar pretty strong as well so that's not too bad but I did catch one of these guys in my house last night um, and Scyther not crazy exciting but with the fact that we can evolve to Sizer probably this weekend that's not too bad and it's got decent IVs as well so those are the nine Pokemon we hatched the rest I'm not too crazy about um, because I do catch them every single day uh, on my lunch break so um, today's or this week's objective probably is going to be hatching as many eggs as I can I'm going to try and collect heaps and heaps of eggs uh, and fingers crossed hatch a Togepi, finally, like please, I need this in my life. Um, I'm just going to keep walking and doing whatever I have to do to hatch some more eggs and hatch some Gen 2s this weekend. So I'll see you guys as we go throughout the week. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> hey guys, uh, today is Saturday the 25th of January. Um, today's plan was to run around and hatch some more eggs, but unfortunately it's been raining all day. So what I'm going to do instead is evolve a bunch of Gen 2 Pokemon. So I've collected enough candies to evolve a few things. Um, and I also had a Twitter poll going as well. Um, pretty much for which Pokemon you guys wanted me to evolve with the uh, Metal Coat and the King's Rock. So I accidentally um, had it running for too long. Um, so it hasn't quite finished yet, uh, it's got three hours left on the vote, but I'm going to take it as what it is at the moment, and the vote is for Slowking and Sizer. So options were Politoed or Slowking for the King's Rock, 
or Steelix Incisor for the metal coat and uh, Slow King Incisor is the winner so I'm going to do that. Um, and I also have just got enough candies to evolve a few other things and add them to my deck so before I forget, lucky egg. So first thing is first, I have got enough to evolve Centran, which wasn't too hard because they are popping up everywhere, so we'll evolve that little guy into Furret, um, which is one of the more interesting Pokedex entries, I think, because I never realised that Furret was like seven foot tall, which is terrifying. Uh, technically like a really huge Pokemon, which is crazy. So... For it registered to the Pokedex and a really cute one. It's like a reminds me of those little like weasel on the ball toys so like when you're a kid um, Like back in the 90s. I think it was a was it a 90s toy or a, earlier than that, but uh, Hootoot I also have enough for which also wasn't too hard. Hootoot's actually spawning re like pretty regularly for me um, not as common as uh, Centrant, but still pretty common. So let's evolve Hootoot as well. Yeah, so Noctowl added to the decks as well. I don't actually have a personal preference for or against for Noctowl really, just a cool looking little owl. So Wing Attack and Nightshade for moves there. Spinarak, let's evolve you. Registered to the decks, uh, I can never say his name. Ar Ar Ari Ariados, Ariados never the big pink and red purple and red spider uh poison sting and mega horn happy days chin chow i don't think i have enough candies yet i've been seeing it around but i thought i had stacks of candy so i've just been kind of like oh i don't need to catch that it's fine and i should have just been actually catching them so oops uh scroll on by uh to natu i should have enough to evolve to zatu So I'm just going to evolve my strongest one because I'm not too fast on IVs for this guy. Registered to the decks, sweet, uh, 1,615 for CP there, Faint Attack and Future Sight. That's a pretty strong charge move. Cool beans, Zatu in there. Uh, Marill, I love Marill so much. Marill is one of my favourite Pokemon. <laughs> So cute, and I'm gonna evolve you along to your next stage, little man. A little gal, didn't check. All good. But yeah, Marill was one of my um ones I kept all the way through to, or evolved all the way up and kept all the way through to battling the Elite Four for um Gen Two back on back on the old games. Rock Smash and Ice Beam. I do prefer having two of the one type for moves, but that's all good. Uh, Azumarill, little cutie. So 1,125, so not bad. It'd be good to get um, double ice uh, for Pokemon that have uh, ice type weaknesses, or I'm, I'm going to guess that Azumarill might have some water type moves as well. Um, double water would be pretty good as well. So double ice, probably more beneficial for taking out um, Dragonites and things like that. Hopip, I have enough candies for, but I've got a few skip looms, so that's nothing too crazy there. I don't have enough for Sunkern yet. Wooper, I should definitely have enough for. So, let's evolve. Mouth's so big. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen it open its mouth before, that's terrifying. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so we've got Quagsire there, uh, Water Gun and Sludge Bomb for his or her moves. Ah, here's one I'm excited for. Um, Teddy Ursa. So all of the stronger ones have got pretty rubbish IVs, so I'm going to evolve this guy with pretty decent IVs um, and go up all the way to Ur Ur Ursaring. Um, this one's going to be a pretty interesting one. I want to see how um, big we can get one of these guys and how useful I can uh, use them in taking down and building up gyms, prestiging. Counter and Hyper Beam. I'm pretty sure that's the... I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that's the best moveset for Osaring, or one of the really good ones. And what do we got here? 1684 for 
CP. That'll be really interesting to try out. I really do want to actually use them in um use him in a gym and see how he goes. Cool. So we have got our slow poke. Uh, we've got more than enough candies to evolve, and we've got the King's Rock as well. So off we go to Slow King. So this will be my first um, item evolution for Gen Two. Use this item on your Pokemon. Yes. Sweet, so registered to the Pokédex, Slowking. So 1,400 CP, uh, decent IVs, Water Gum, Fire Blast. That's pretty cool. That would be a little bit unexpected to rock into a gym um, and get fire moves from a Slowking. So, so there is our Slowking. So I've got quite a few Scyther to... So I've got quite a few Scyther to pick from. Um, got my little Jimmy Two Knives, so it's my first ever Scyther. But let's see if this, our strongest one, has got decent IVs. I might go with the one that's got um, the wonderful IVs. So let's roll with that and get our metal coat and evolve and hope for something good. Let's go Scyther. Sweet, so 1,564 on the CP department, um, which isn't that much of an increase from what he was. So he's 1,300, now he's only gone up to 1,500, so might need a little bit of powering up, but I'm going to check those moves, Fury Cutter, Iron Head. But yeah, that's our first two um, item evolutions for Gen 2. We've had Slowking and Sizer, which is pretty sweet, and I'm really keen to actually do some um, videos battling gyms and stuff for you guys as well. Um, I know we haven't gotten to that yet, but it is definitely uh, on my cards of things to do. So sorry if this video ends up uh, being a little bit shorter than normal. The week kind of went a little bit weird um, and I had some appointments and things like that where I just couldn't get in the time to film, but things should be kind of back to a decent episode once a week is what I'm aiming for. Uh, for next week, it should be all smooth sailing. I'm going to try my best to hatch some more eggs so that I can try to finally get Togepi. That is my uh, ultimate goal at the moment. But um, to let you guys know as well, in a couple weeks time I'm going to be in Sydney, um, travelling down there for a day. So I'm going to spend the whole day filming, probably hanging around the Darling Harbour area, take you guys to the Opera House and to the Sydney Harbour Bridge and stuff like that. Maybe go to some of the gardens. Depending how much I film there, I might split it into a couple of episodes. Just I uh, don't want to make it like too long. Um, or just too much stuff, or try to cut stuff down just for one episode, so depending how much I get. We might get a couple videos out of Sydney, so if you're in Sydney, or you live in Sydney, um, and you know of any like awesome hotspots at the moment, please let me know, just leave a comment, and I'll um, try to check those out. I've been checking on the Silk Road for um, nests and things, but I'm not sure if there's going to be another nest migration like the few days before I actually head down. So let me know as well, international guys, what you want to see in Sydney. If it's close enough to where I'm going to be, I'm not going to have a car at the time. So I'm just kind of getting dropped, um, probably fingers crossed around the Darling Harbour area. So if there's stuff that you want to see in Sydney that you, um, that you've, you know, maybe seen on TV and I uh, would like to get a better look at, or some nice Chinese gardens, there's really cool like art installations, there's some sweet parks, so yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see in Sydney and I'll do my best to uh, accommodate that. Next week will be the drop of the next Pokemon Go event, which is the Pikachus with the party hats, which will be pretty cute. Um, I'm not sure what else is going to be happening in that event, they haven't announced any additional features or things like that, or like nothing like double XP or lures being extended they haven't said anything like that just yet so at the moment it's just pikachus with the party hats hopefully as well i think it would be really cool but i've got no idea um if the pikachus have different kind of hats so there's different ones you could collect if they had you know different colored hats or different patterns and it would also be a really good way for if it is what they're doing niantic to basically test on mat on mass um shinies so if the idea was that every single Pokemon is going to have a shiny, that's an additional 200 and something uh, sprites, basically, that they're going to need. So if Pikachu has multiple variations of Party Hat, um, seeing how the servers cope and how, like, what kind of bugs they can iron out with multiple versions of the one Pokemon, 
um, might be giving us some sort of indication as to when shinies are going to be introduced. So that'll be pretty cool too, to see how that event all goes um, and see how many Pikachus we can get and evolve hopefully into Raichu with the hat as well. Otherwise guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!